Hello again, Mr RQ Stuff here. Now this was just going to be a little video for the uh, holiday season, just throwing together some bits that I um, have previously used. However, um, it's got a bit more complicated than that. Anyway, just very quickly, what have we got? We'll, well, we've got the, uh, the big horn that I showed recently. We've got the um, stepper-driven uh, turntable here which I've shown in some previous videos I think I've got a whole playlist for that now I've got the uh, sound box from the one pound gramophone that I found at a car boot cell I've got uh, some tone arm stuff here that um, originated on I think it was my uh, air horn gramophone although I've modified it quite a bit um, and I put a counterweight at the back over there, or a different counterweight at the back over there. It was actually uh, arranged differently before. Um, and um, I've got this uh, Pringle box here. This is one of these miniature Pringle boxes here, um, which works as a sort of a gimbal. So I can move the uh, tone arm like that. Um, this bit in here, this is just a piece of plastic piping, which I turned down very slightly on the lathe so that it runs... Um, freely inside an angle joint this is 21 and a half millimeter piping if i remember correctly and some cardboard tubing and a zip tie and um a bit of an oil filler and a, a bit of a um christmas uh paper tube there and some bits of wood and whatever um oh and the power supply down there um so um this is a this is a real mismatch of uh, of stuff but basically, um, I did want to put together some sort of gramophone using this big horn. Now, I did promise that I would be uh, building a completely new tone arm arrangement. Um, now, this is a completely new tone arm arrangement. It's not remotely the tone arm arrangement that I was going to build. That's still for a later video. Anyway, if I just quickly uh, connect this up. So you can see that works, it's not perfect, um, it has a habit of skipping, it does play some records um, all the way through, some records it struggles a bit on. Now you may wonder why I've gone to all this trouble with this sort of gimbal arrangement over here and it's basically because this is my first gramophone with a fixed horn. So this horn does not move, in every other gramophone I've built the horn moves with the tone arm which is a, a very old design, a very simple design. But basically this horn I feel is a bit too big for that. So um, I've got it fixed. So basically I had to come up with some sort of uh, arrangement that allowed the tone arm to move um, without the uh, horn moving. And I did try garden hose and uh, a few other simpler arrangements um, using um, this piece of piping over there, the black piping and cardboard tubing. Um, but ultimately I thought um, this sort of gimbal arrangement would work uh, quite nicely, and it does. Tone arm's a bit stiff, uh, it's not quite as much movement as I'd like, but it's not bad. Now I've just flipped the record over and I've put on one of my homemade sound boxes. 
I think I call this homemade sandbox number four. Um, it's probably my uh, my best design so far. Um, and I've adjusted the counterweight slightly as well because this is a lighter soundbox. So we just have a quick burst with this, see how it gets on. So that doesn't sound too bad, although it's nothing like as loud as the uh, sound box that I was using. Um, so this one here, which uh, as I said, came off the one pound gramophone. Um, it's uh, I think a fairly cheap and nasty um, 1950s sound box. It is made in England, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean all that much for uh, stuff like this. Anyway, that's just a bit of fun. Um, I might do a little bit more with this uh, a contraption um, but it was really just a, a bit of fun for uh, the holiday season and um, a chance to use the uh, the big metal horn uh, which has probably been the first time it's been used to play uh, music for uh, quite a long time. That's it for now thanks for watching and if you have enjoyed this video please subscribe to Mr RG Stuff.